Hello, friends, and welcome to another episode of Digital Learning with Ed Yoda. I'm your host, the friendly neighborhood tech coach, Dana Kickler, aka Ed Yoda. And today we are going to be learning about how to upload our lessons into Canvas. So I am going to get rid of the camera now so uh, you can focus on the screen and not my fabulous face. First, how to get to Canvas. Um, you should have your employee links bookmark folder um, in your Chrome browser. You can open that and go straight to Canvas from there. Or in the toolbar, uh, the URL bar, you can type in lms.lacklinisd.net and that will take you to the login page. Once you are at the course you want to upload your lesson plans into, you are going to navigate over to the module page. Once in the modules page, you may already have a module um, created for yourself for your lesson plans. If not, you're going to go over here to the plus module button. Click on that. Add a module. Uh, it might be science the first nine weeks. It might be lesson plans. Um, it might be, you know, Kickler lesson plans, whatever you need to name it. And click add module. Now it's going to add it to the bottom of the list. So if you have a long list of modules, you'll have to scroll all the way down to find it. But then you can drag it up to the top if that's where you want it. Now, once you've got your module, you're going to go over here to the plus button and click on it and you will get a pop-up window. Um, we are going to add a file. And if you have um, your lessons done in a Google Doc or in OneDrive on a Word file, but it's in your OneDrive and not just a Word document on your desktop, I will show you that next. This is just for a file on your desktop, like you're a Word document that's on in a folder in your desktop somewhere. Click on File. You're going to add a new file. So click there. Then you're going to choose File here. Okay, it's going to give you this navigation window that you're used to seeing. You're going to go to wherever your document is, find the lesson plan document, might be on your desktop, might be in a folder. Once you've got it, you're just going to click on it, click open. You'll see the name of it listed here. Um, you can just leave it this in course files and click add item. There you go. Your lesson plan is now in Canvas for all to see. Now, if you have your lesson plans in a Word doc that is in OneDrive or a Google Doc, you can insert it a different way so that when you go into that file and make changes to it, it will automatically um, sync those changes with the link here so that you don't have to keep coming back into Canvas and uploading lesson plans every week. If you just continue to make changes to the one document that your lesson plans are in, you don't ever have to come back here because that this is a link to that doc document that you are consistently keeping updated, if that makes sense. Um, so you'll click the plus sign here. And again, for a Google Doc or a doc in your OneDrive, you're going to go to external tool. You're going to get a list of all of our external tools. For Google Drive, you're, actually, you're going to click on the first one listed where it says Google Drive to Canvas. You don't want the one that says Google Assignments. You want this one. If you're looking for your OneDrive folder, you're going to go to Office 365. Okay, so no matter which one you go to, it's going to open up your Google Drive area or Office or OneDrive area so that you can search and find your lesson plan document. So this is a list of all my Google Doc folders. 
So I can go in here and find where the lesson plan document is, uh, click on it, and click Submit. Click Add Item. You're going to see the uh, URL down here. Add Item. And now you have a link to that document. So next time, I'm going to click on that to show you what it looks like when someone goes into Canvas and opens it up to look at your file. You'll, you might see that little login authorization thing flash up, but that's OK. Once you've logged in once, you shouldn't have to log in again. So this is the document that I linked it to. Um, obviously not a lesson plan, but you know, just an example. Um, so that's what it's going to look like. And when I go into Google Doc, the next time I need to make changes, um, I don't have to come back in here because the changes that I make to that file in my Google Doc is going to reflect from that link. So this is working very slowly today, but you know what I mean. So I'm here now in my Google Doc. And if I go and open up that file that I just linked and make my changes, my new lesson plans, that's all I have to do. Then I'm done. Because if I was to go back to Canvas after I make those changes and click this link again, I would see those changes. Because again, this, what you've done is linked Canvas to that dynamic document that's going to keep changing. Okay, so. The last thing you want to do is to make sure that you publish the module. Um, if you don't publish it by clicking that little circle there and making it a green check, uh, the people who are, are in your course as a quote unquote student wouldn't be able to see it. If um, people are in your course as a teacher, they can see it still. Uh, it just looks like this. Um, most of the other teachers and will be in your course as a um, teacher, but just in case, um, I would always make sure everything that you want to be seen is published. One thing I did want to point out was how easy it is to get help. I'm going to make another video on um, getting Canvas help, but for this particular video, um, I'm going to link a couple files with it. Um, Canvas has its own help files and things, so there's a video uh, that Canvas created on modules and how to add files to modules. So they have their own little video that's four minutes and you can watch that as just another source. Um, and then there's written documents from Canvas that go take you step by step through how to add a module and then how to upload a file um, or assignment or page um, to that module. And they take you step by step through those with the screenshots and everything. So if you find those more helpful, I will have those linked um, with this video as well. And that is it. Uh, I hope you found this useful. I'm going to go now because the buzzsaw is starting over in the drama department and nobody needs that background noise. Thanks, guys. See you later.